Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be talking about a divorce, specifically the Mirror Engine and the Godot Game Engine. Now, I've covered Mirror a couple times in the past. It's actually a project that, even though there were some early hiccups, like NFC and like crypto bro stuff early on that kind of made me a little wary of this project. They kind of pushed all that to the background. And what they were ultimately creating here was a version of UEFN, so Fortnite or um, Roblox, but built on top of Godot. So this was going to be kind of an open source ecosystem for creating metaverse S games. And the thing is, they got this really far along. It was actually an incredibly impressive point that they were at. And then they just axed it. So now Mirror has been completely rewritten. We'll talk about in what game engine in just a second. And the reason why they stated, the biggest reason I saw, they've got a full video explaining why they moved away from the Godot game engine. But at the core, it seemed to be that they had trouble with uh, the physics synchronization across multiplayer. And if that was it, I would have just invested my time in fixing that, either in the Godot game engine or finding some kind of a workaround. But instead, they completely and utterly rewrote it. And that is, well, that's a decision. I'm not going to say that uh, it's a decision I would have made, but it is definitely a decision that Mirror made. So Mirror is no longer based on Godot at all. If you're interested, though, uh, the original project is actually still available. So if you go to their GitHub repository, V1, this is Mirror Classic. This was built on top of Godot. And when you see it, it's again, it was staggering just how far along this actually was when they made this decision to move over away from Godot. So they basically, they have completely rewritten Mirror uh, using a different game engine. And yeah, so this whole project was looking really cool, a lot of potential there, and built on top of a full over source, open source stack. And then now... Now it's not so much. So now we've got uh, Mirror Engine has been rebooted and there's something almost immediately. We're back to that crypto bro stuff that made me wary of Mirror in the first place with feature number two, AI text to 3D. Right click generate, type what you want to create, such as a sports car. Mirror Engine creates a Gaussian splot of whatever you imagine in 60 seconds. Yeah, okay. Um, again, there's so many, I get, I get about 50 different emails a day trying to get, uh, some AI product put in front of me. I'm not anti AI. It's just, it's a gold rush at this point. People are, instead of, it stops making me think that they're chasing an actual viable product and now they're chasing VC. That's what it feels like to me all of a sudden. So the key of it is the mirror part. So multiplayer sync in real time. So this is what they said they had trouble with was the physics across multiplayer sync. So if the multiplayer is the heart of why mirror is called mirror, I guess that's the reasoning behind it. And then you've got here uh, using ECS uh, and then material libraries, again, Gaussian splatting. Now, a big part of the Gaussian splatting, I think, just basically comes down to they got that as a freebie from the library that they ultimately went with. Uh, so let me know what you ultimately guess what they're going to be using here. Another thing that they've gone is the previous version of Mirror was built around GDScript. Well, that is not the case anymore. It now uses a different scripting system. So uh, visual scri uh, scripting in real time, not visual scripting, implementing coding was our number one feature request after release visual scripting with Mirror Classic. Let us know if you'd like visual scripting in the future. So that is toast uh, right now. Uh, but it ultimately behind the scenes, it's using TypeScript. So uh, that is the future of it. Now, the funny thing is you actually see these videos of using Mirror. It's got so much less functionality than it used to in terms of uh, the editor and the environment. It's very minimalistic now, uh, but there's still potential here. The project has, this is your editing environment, multiplayer editing, and so on. You use the TypeScript programming language, TypeScript being a superset of JavaScript. You can use JavaScript as well. Um, it's, it implements bullet physics, site docs, and so on. So what actual is going on here? Well, there is a video uh, that walks through what they're ultimately using, but here I'll spoil it for you. Play Canvas, that is what they are using now is Play Canvas. Now Play Canvas is a lovely experience. If you want to create a WebGL title uh, using a Unity-like editor completely in the web, that is what Play Canvas is all about. But the underlying framework that Play Canvas is built on top of, so they've got the editor available here, but the engine underneath is free and open source. And again, like I was saying earlier on, they also have a Gaussian splatting uh, function, super splat. And I almost guarantee you this is why you're seeing Gaussian splat so strong in mirror now uh, or so promoted there. So yeah, that is it. Uh, again, I've got nothing against play cameras. I think it's a great project. Uh, I had a lot of hope for mirror. 
Uh, but now, in all honesty, again, seeing AI gauzing and splat creation stuff there, it kind of is going right back to that that warning bells I got on day one. Plus, again, they had all of this cool tech implemented, a cool editor, all built on top of Godot as a thing going forward, and then they just axed it all because of a technical issue. Again, there may be multiple technical issues, but it was an open source project. Just fix the damn issues instead of completely doing a rewrite. So my faith in this project has gone way down. Uh, but hopefully, you know what? I, I cheer for everything, and I hope that these things work out. But like I said, a lot of, a lot of warning bells all of a sudden, and I don't, I don't get the technical decision to just completely abandon what you are working on now and just restart it because you ran into a problem. That's the entire idea behind open source. Again, if you want to find out more about why they switched, the thank you and technical reflections is uh, going through exactly why they made the decisions. Uh, I just don't necessarily agree with the decisions. By the way, if you want access to the new alpha, uh, it's available from their Discord. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Mirror version 2. Uh, after a divorce from the Godot technology, honestly, it, it, it was a lot of it was the Godot foundation that made me interested in Mirror. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.